Welcome back to the procedural terrain building here in Unity. Here is what I have been doing between the videos, between the episodes. I may have touched on some parts into the generation of this terrain. Take a look at these dots. These are just cubes for now, but what I thought I might do is spawn some cubes in the green areas in here so we can have some trees later on or maybe some grass or maybe some stones or I don't know what and I made them with a spawn chance so the spawn chance can be as low as zero so we don't have anything to one percent so it's very slim chance uh, we can test the spawn chance by just raising the height see now we have a lot of trees in here and these are all generated in real time and then we can just you know decrease the spawn chance and now if you pay attention to the actual cubes as you can see now we have a very little amount of cubes uh, i also made the terrain look a little different a little smoother sh should i say you can play around with the values uh, the code will be all in a github link repository so you can just take that and play around sometimes you can get results like these which is not particularly good to look at anyway let's go ahead and build the code for the spawnable objects so i already went ahead and done it and it's actually super simple i will revert this and we'll write it again very very quickly so okay so we'll go ahead and delete the spawnable object we'll also delete the declaration in here and i think here is a loop, so we'll delete that as well. And here is where I left off. So I also made a elevation type, which is a enumerator. So let's delete those, I suppose. And we didn't have a type in here as well. Okay, so let's start. Actually, let's start by building the enums in here. So let's do a public. Let's declare also the spawnable objects. Okay, now that we have these enumerator types, let's go up and where we have the serializable field of elevation, let's just declare a enumerator type in here. So let's do public type elevation type. We don't have to have this equal to anything, so we can just leave it like this. And as we can see, we already have the type set to anything we want. And back into the script, let's define the spawnable object class. Okay, now that we have the spawnable object, let's define a list of these so we can spawn multiple, obviously multiple spawnable objects. So down here, let's just, after the elevations, I'll just create a new header and then I'll just create the spawnable objects array. So now we have a list of spawnable objects that we can initiate and this will be of type rock. For example, this will have a prefab, obviously the spawn chance and which elevation type I wanted to spawn on. So this is the, the reason that we made these biomes or these elevations to have the type so we can set it later to have this prefab spawn only on mountains which is going to be very, very handy later on. Now let's actually build the logic of how this is going to be spawned. And there we have it. Here is the quick and dirty spawn logic. So all we have in here is a loop that iterates through what we want to spawn. And then we just ask if the current elevation type so the current biome so to say is equal to the biome that we want the spawnable object to be spawned on if it is then we just do this calculation so this is a simple random calculation that takes into account spawn chance slash 100 so this is percentage based so basically it has 0.1 of percent chance of spawning and then when we spawn, we just spawn the, the, the object. We already have the position. We don't care about the rotation for now. This is just 
simple zero 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 rotation so it's it's always in the same rotation we're gonna mess with that later if we need so and then for cleaning up we just set it to the chunk parent so we keep our scene a little cleaner okay so here is our script again we have an element we want this element to be of type for example let's say tree we want this to only spawn on hills for example and i don't have a tree i'll get the tree later on in the next video so for now we'll just spawn a simple cube we'll make the chances really low for this to spawn and now if we hit play we should see some cubes spawned around we do see some cubes spawned around but the y-axis is wrong as you can see everything is set to zero okay so the problem is actually super simple i am using this variable without actually calculating the variable that's my bad uh, this line should be obviously above the calculation so we can actually use it anyway save that go back to unity and we should have something and there we go now we have some cubes uh for now these cubes are spawning only in hills so let's try to change that into for example water obviously they shouldn't spawn on water but let's just see if it does and as we can see it only spawns into the biome of water uh, in the next video we are going to take a look at how we can blend this so it looks a little better than this because obviously this is not very 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 caliente i already have a blend amount but it is acting up on me as we can see so in the next video we are going to try and fix that but other than that thank you for watching and i will see you in the next videos